Who's that? Look. You see? Who's that? What is up, crew? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing one of those I tested out cheap hair products from the grocery store videos. Now, I did not want to go to the grocery store and pick up the classic ones like Old Spice, Axe, American Crew, because that's already been done a thousand times over, and I wanted to try something totally different. So I picked up three products that you may or may have not seen before, and I'm super excited to try them. So let's jump into today's video. to my local Target, AKA Target, and I picked up three hair products, one of which I have tried before, two are brand new to me. So let's see what we're gonna be getting into today. I have the classic Pacinos. I have used this product before. I've used this in many of my hair styling tutorials in the earlier part of my YouTube days. So I have tried this product before. I know exactly what I'm expecting here. But again, I did not want to go with American Crew or Old Spice or Axe because that's been done before. And plus, I hate American Crew. So we're not even gonna go down that road. We're not even gonna talk about them. So we got Pacino's Matt up first. Next up we have Goodfellow. This is Target's latest brand in-house. They make some of their clothes in there and I noticed that they had a hair product. So I figured why not give it a shot? It was pretty affordable um, and it's called a texture fiber. So I'm excited about this one as well. And then last but not least in my bag of goodies, I have Harry's Texturizing Putty. Now I'm sure you guys are pretty familiar with Harry's. If you've ever been to any grocery store or Target, you've probably seen their shaving stuff. That's really what they're known for is their shaving products stuff like that so I saw that they had a hair product and I thought we would give it a try and this is actually the most expensive out of all the products that I have here today I'm gonna start with Pacino's mat first thing I need to do is go wash my hair so I'll see you guys back here in about one second all right so we're back I've got my hair washed shampooed conditioned, and we are ready to apply the Pacino's mat now I'm not going to be using a hair dryer for any of the hairstyles I'll be producing today just because I really don't need to to see how the product works and how effective it is in styling so first thing we're going to start off with like I said is the Pacino's mat I got a fresh jar of it here never been touched before and I'm going to apply a decent amount of this to my hair because again I am very familiar with this product so I was actually wrong in saying that the Harry's was the most expensive hair product that I had today the Pacino's is actually the most expensive this is $15.99 at Target online so I was wrong Harry's is not the most expensive the Pacino's is the most expensive but for $15.99 you get a four ounce jar of product that's actually quite a bit most companies only give you like two and a half ounces maybe three ounces if you're lucky so to have a full four ounce jar of product is actually quite substantial and for 15 bucks that's not that bad at all so again I have worked with this product before I'm gonna get a decent amount of it, about that much, about the size of a quarter. I'm gonna ditch this towel. I don't need that right now. It has a subtle smell to it. It doesn't smell very strong. It smells almost like a nice soap. So not too, too overwhelming in the smell category, which I can appreciate because sometimes hair products like Paul Mitchell and stuff like that, they just smell too strong. So you don't really want that because especially if you're wearing a cologne or something, it just conflicts with your other smells that you got going on. So. I like the fact that this one is subtle and I'm just going to do like a normal like pulled back kind of quiff hairstyle right now. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's really solid. Now again, I like the fact that it's cheaper. It's only $15.99. It is a four ounce jar of products. So you get a lot for your money, but at the same time, I just... I wish it had more hold than what it does. Overall, I would rate the Pacinos a 6 out of 10 because it is semi-effective. The price is a little bit expensive, but you do get a lot of product for what you're paying for. So, not bad, but there is better out there. Okay, so I'm going to go shampoo again, and then when I come back, we're going to do the Goodfellow Texturizing Fiber. Alright, so I just washed my hair again. Again, I have to dry this off a little bit. It's just 
It's not gonna work if the hair is too wet. All right, so here we have the Goodfellow & Co. Texturizing Fiber. Now, this is called their Blue Sage and Tonka. So this is gonna have a nice scent to it, I bet. I can't decide if I like the smell of that or not. I mean, it's subtle. I mean, yeah, it smells, it smells pretty good. I can't lie, it doesn't, it doesn't stink, it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, this actually smells pretty good now that I'm smelling it. It almost smells like coconut. Why does it smell like coconut? Oh. That's really, that's really dense actually. Okay, hold on, I'm having some difficulty here. This seems, this seems weird to me. I got about that much, about the same as before, about the size of a quarter. See how it emulsifies. It seems like creamy, but like dense at the same time. Okay, I have no idea what this is gonna do. I mean, it, it feels kind of sticky, but like not really. So let's see. it to my hair it actually feels a lot more sticky in my hair than it did in my hands if I were to use a hair dryer with this I feel like I could get like a decent amount of volume actually that's I mean that's even a lot without a hair dryer it, it feels quite sticky in my hair which is a good thing that's actually really good this is the cheapest product out of all of them by the way that jar of product it was also four ounces by the way I forgot to say so the good fellow is also a four ounce jar of product and it was only $7.99 Literally less than half of the Pacino's product. You get the same amount. And honestly, it seems to be working a little bit better in my personal opinion. Hold on, let me look at this. All right, I mean, yeah guys, like the proof is in the product. This is, this is really halfway decent, I have to say. My one complaint is that it is a little too sticky for my liking. Like, it feels like it's, it's tugging on my hair quite a bit. Maybe I use too much, but overall, like that's not bad. Like that's not bad at all. I'm, I am thoroughly impressed, Target. I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with the Goodfellow hair product. I have to say, like, I would seriously recommend you try that if you're looking for something with a strong, sticky hold that is gonna add a lot of texture. I mean, look at that right there. Look at that. That is great. You're not going to get that with a lot of products, so I certainly appreciate that. That is solid, I have to say. All right, so I'm going to go wash again, and then we're going to jump into the last product, which is the Harry's product. All right, so I forgot to rank the Goodfellas texturizing fiber before I went and washed my hair, but I would rate it an 8 out of 10 because it's super affordable. It is crazy good quality. It gets the job done. It smells nice and you get a ton of product. That is also a four ounce jar of product as well. So well worth it in my opinion. That is solid, I have to say. Okay, so let me grab the Harry's texturizing putty. So this one I am very curious about as well. Again, never used it. I like when you get the product and it kind of has that ripple in it like that. You see that? Oh man, it's like ASMR, but for hair products, I swear to God. This one actually smells really good. Like kind of like cinnamon-ish. It smells nice. I have to say, I really like the smell of this one. Now this one isn't supposed to be that strong of a hold, so I am not expecting this one to be like crazy voluminous or anything. Very flexible hold, very texturizing, stuff like that. Hence the name texturizing putty. Putties usually aren't that strong of a hold unless you use a ton of them, so that's totally fine. But it is supposed to be a matte finish, so we'll see how this one turns out. I'm gonna get the same amount of product that I got before. Okay, this one's really nice. This one's very creamy, it feels like. So I got about that much again. Damn, that smells good. Okay, so going to emulsify this one it is behaving very similarly to other putties I have used before. Almost kind of like bouncy feeling. It emulsifies super easily though. And you just keep getting, I got product on my nose. This product was $11.99 and it is a three ounce jar. I'm gonna say three ounces. I'm pretty, pretty damn sure it's three ounces. So it's all emulsified. Let's get this stuff in here. So this one actually applies very easily, I have to say. This is actually very, very smooth to apply. It doesn't tug or pull while you're applying it to your hair, which I can appreciate. That was the one complaint I had about the Goodfellow product was that it was pulling a lot and tugging a lot when I was applying it to my hair. This one actually feels really nice. But then again, that's because it's not gonna be that strong of a hold. So, pick your battles, you know? That's not bad. That really is not that bad at all. Wow, okay. All right, that's what I was looking for. It does feel like flexible, so like, if you're the kind of person that doesn't like a ton of product in your hair, this would be something definitely I would recommend that you try it because this feels really smooth 
while it's also giving you a dope looking hairstyle. Like that's not bad. All right guys, and that's pretty much the final results for the Harry's product. Again, this is not that bad at all. If you're looking for something that's more of a flexible, malleable hole that doesn't feel too sticky or pull in your hair, and also has a nice scent to it, I would recommend the Harry's product. This is very, very solid. For the Harry's, I would rate that a seven out of 10. I would not necessarily for myself personally use the Harry's as a main hair styling product most of the time. I'd probably use it as a pre styler because I think it would be great for adding texture and stuff like that. Or maybe if I just wanted to have like a chill, pulled back hairstyle kind of day, I would use it for this. But again, seven out of 10, price is a little bit expensive. It was $11.99 for a three ounce jar of product. So a little bit on par with the other ones, but you get a little bit less for the money. So that's really the only reason I gave it a seven out of 10. So to recap all of the products from today, again, Pacino's would be six out of 10, Goodfellow would be eight out of 10, and Harry's would be seven out of 10. I think all these are great products. It really depends on what you prefer in your hair product as to which one you would like the most. The Pacino is gonna be super matte, super dry feeling. It's gonna give you a decent amount of volume if you put a hair dryer through it. The Goodfellow is super sticky, very, very texturizing, very voluminous, and I think almost too sticky. So if you put a hair dryer through that one as well, it would probably soften it up a little bit, make it feel a little bit more natural. And then last but not least, the Harry's. The Harry's is very smooth, very creamy, very easy to break up and put in your hair, and it smells nice, and it's a malleable, flexible hold. So I would recommend that you try all three of these. You don't have to go out and buy super expensive, over rated hype hair products just because celebrities and other influencers tell you to do so. There are plenty of great resources that you can utilize like grocery stores, targets, stuff like that to find halfway decent hair products like these and they don't have to break the bank. All right guys, that wraps it up for today's video. If you liked the video, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. Drop your comments in the comment section. Let me know what videos you'd like to see next. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.